Hey, so this is one of the demos that we did in year in review. And uh, if you haven't seen it, what we have here is this function uh, called NAMWAB, because that was the sample data that uh, Andy LaCates used for this. Basically, it just reverses some text. And in our demo, we talked about the stack recursive uh, version of the custom function, because this is a, a recursive custom function, and then the tail recursive version, and how the stack recursive version will only do about 10,000 characters. So if you, try and, uh, if you try and run it, you just get a question mark here. Um, but the tail recursive version uh, will actually run, which is kind of cool. Um, and it's really looping through all this text 50,000 times, and it does that in 2.7 seconds, which is uh, not bad for 50,000 loops. Um, and in our demo, we talked about how a JavaScript version of the function could be a lot faster. Because, um, you know, JavaScript can recurse through text. And then you might want to do that if you needed to loop more than uh, 50,000 characters, especially if you wanted to maybe loop a lot more than 50,000 characters, like half a million characters. And in our demo, when we clicked this, it took four one hundredths of a second. Um, but there's something kind of actually interesting going on here. Um, it's crazy fast, but it's not actually this fast because we made a little mistake in the way we timed it. Um, and that's what I wanted to show you here because it's kind of instructive about the way uh, web viewers work. I guess first, um, the way we do this uh, thing in JavaScript is that we have a web viewer over here it's blank, it's just got a name, um, but this is kind of the engine uh, where JavaScript executes. And then um, when we actually run this script, what the script does is set that web viewer um, to, you know, some pretty standard stuff you would use for any function. And then this is the custom function itself. And then we call a FileMaker script with an FMP URL and pass the results back out. And then that script is pretty simple. It just sets a field to the script parameter. So when we demoed this at DevCon, um, we set our time value here, and then we ended our time in the same script. But what's actually happening is this web viewer is spinning up a new thread. You know, web viewers get their own thread. And this web viewer is evaluating a new thread, and then it's calling the script, which actually happens after this script finishes. So in order to really time this script, what we need to do is make this global and then copy this stuff out of here, disable it here, and put it into uh, the end of write. And then make sure that we use the global variable here. So now we'll get a true picture of how long this really takes because we're going to start in this script, and then the web viewer is gonna call this script, and then we're gonna end our time. So let's see how long that takes. Let's kinda just get all this text here. And now we'll run it. So, right, instead of four one-hundredths of a second, it runs in three-tenths of a second, which is still pretty impressive considering that the FileMaker recursive version of this can't even process half a million characters. It can do a tenth of that in 2.7 seconds, whereas we can do 10 times that in a third of a second. So, pretty awesome speed here, but I did want to show people that, you know, we had made this mistake in timing it, which is also kind of an awesome demonstration of how the web viewer it does have its own thread and it steps out of the processing and then re-enters the processing by calling the script again. So just kind of a neat demonstration of how the web viewer really is its own thread. And uh, you kind of have to be careful when timing some of this JavaScript stuff. Anyways, this, um, this whole file is unlocked and on our site. I'll put the link for it uh, in the notes to the video. It shows you how to do the same recursive custom function, both as a stack recursive function, a tail recursive function, and then uh, how to do it in JavaScript. Um, pretty cool. The original function was by Andy LaCates. Uh, Jason Young wrote the tail recursive and JavaScript versions. Um, pretty, uh, pretty cool stuff. Hope it helps. Thanks.